A Poland couple was shocked to find officers at their door telling them that the car they just bought from an Ohio dealership was actually stolen. The dealership and buyers say they had no idea. Gina Cadigan spoke with the frustrated buyers and a lawyer on who should be held accountable for this situation. Gina. Well, the dealership in Amherst near Cleveland says they were an unsuspecting buyer when they got the car at an auction. The Glatzers also had no idea, but now this situation has changed their perspective on buying big purchases from anyone in the future. Katie and Nick Leitzer didn't know what to think when three officers knocked on their door, telling them the car they bought just a few months ago was actually a stolen vehicle. It was just so surreal that it was even happening, but I'm like, there's no way. As the Ohio State Highway Patrol impounded the 2020 Chevy Suburban, the Glatzers found out it had been stolen from a Hertz rental company in Florida in 2021. The couple bought it from Spitzer's Auto World near Cleveland. I mean, this is a big deal for us to buy this car. The Glatzers say they went with Spitzer because the dealership says they offer a thorough inspection of their cars before purchase. But the officers told the couple there were a few red flags that should have been caught. The VIN number is in a different font than GM issued on these uh, vehicles. The sticker's missing from the inside door. It's all the fault of the dealer. Anytime you buy something, you are entitled to assume that the seller has the legal ownership and right to sell it. Attorney Ron Burge says car shoppers can run the VIN number through the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System to check the background of the vehicle before buying. If it is a stolen car and if this, the VIN number has not been changed, that stuff's going to show up. Spitzer's Auto World says they've never had this happen before. The couple has a loaner car from the dealer but are still hoping to get one that's big enough for their family of six or a full refund. For future purchases, we'll definitely think twice. With more local news, I'm Gina Cadigan.